In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your wallet address on Bitstamp. If you're planning to send crypto to Bitstamp, then you will need your wallet address and it's critical to pick the correct wallet address and network because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing or sending your crypto to the wrong address. And if in doubt, send a tiny amount of crypto first. If you don't know what a wallet address is, then it's a string of characters used to send and receive crypto. Each address is unique and varies by cryptocurrency and will also vary if you pick a different network for sending your funds on. For example, if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds. So you must always pick the correct wallet address for your deposit. So if you want to know how to find your wallet address on Bitstamp, you need to click deposit in the top menu. Then from here, you want to click cryptocurrency on the left. Then in the top drop down, you want to pick the crypto you want to deposit by either scrolling down the list or typing into the search box. I'm going to pick Ethereum. Some cryptocurrencies can be deposited on multiple networks and Ethereum is one of these, which is why you see this warning. And it's important to select the same network you are sending your crypto on. If you select the wrong network, then you risk losing your crypto. So I'm just gonna press continue. And in the next drop down, you want to pick the network that you plan to send your crypto on. I'm going to pick Polygon and you will now see your wallet address for this specific crypto and network. If you change networks, for example, to Op Mainnet, you will see a different address. To copy your address, you can press the copy button below the wallet address that looks like two sheets of paper. Or alternatively, you can press the button to the right of this to view the QR code, which you can scan with a mobile device. If you're transferring crypto for the first time, then it's always recommended to send a small test amount of crypto first, and it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it manually. Anyway, if you've got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, then you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.